Good morning, y'all. Jesus is Lord, and thank God the Word works. We've been talking to you the last several days about the power that is in your tongue. The Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. And you hear people all the time say, my shoes are killing me. I'm just dying to go. I'm dying to get home. Or I'm, that makes me sick. Hey, the power of life and death is in your tongue. So you shouldn't be dying to do anything. You ought to be excited and praising God that you get to do things. Hallelujah. Go, Pat. Well, in Deuteronomy 30, God said this, See, I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing you choose and he also said that you choose with the words he said it's not far off that you have to go up to heaven to get it or to come down to bring jesus up to get it come on preach. but the, what saith it the, the word, word is, is nigh thee, thee even, even in, in thy, thy mouth. mouth i gotta do that again the word the is word nigh, nigh, nigh thee, thee even, even in, in thy, thy mouth. mouth so when you say it is when it works for you that's right. And then Paul got the revelation of it in Romans, and he said the same thing. The what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we what? Speak. Preach. We speak the word. We speak the truth in our hearts. I've got to add this. Mm -hmm. God's not the one that makes the choices for you. You are the one that makes the choices for you when you begin to help me say, say what, what the, the word, word says. says. Which means you have to find out what does the word say about my body? What does the word say about my eyes? What does the word say about my marriage? What does the word say about my children? What does the word say about my money? Oh, you would be amazed what God says about your money. He says wealth and riches are in your house. He says that you know the grace of your Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that you through his poverty might be made rich. Well, rich, I got to say, we might be made rich. rich. Yes, don't shy away from that word rich. God wants every one of his children to be rich. He wants to make them rich. He wants to be the provider, the El Shaddai, the God of too much. But how are you going to be rich unless you say, by in Jesus' name and by the poverty that he bore, I have been made rich. Amen. And as you decree that and call that, then God can come in and do it. And let me add this. God created everything with words. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Well, since everything was created by words, everything's going to be controlled by words. Well, everything in your life is controlled by your words. You frame your world with the words of your mouth. So you take the word of God, put his word in your mouth, in, in your mouth, because his thoughts are so far higher than your thoughts. And as you speak the word of God over every situation, over every circumstance, over every area of your life, then that's what God will come in and perform and create. Well, we got to go, but we want you to remember today, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the, the word, word works. works.